A quick one for young people out there. This, my darlings, is a steak. I mean, it's a fairly B-grade one, but it's a steak all the same. Anything made from a cauliflower or an aubergine or indeed a cashew nut will never be a steak. The other great thing about us meat eaters is that we don't sort of use our children abusively to put messages up onto social media whilst looking cute. <laughs> I don't want to eat cows, mummy, because they're so nice. I don't want to eat fish, mummy, because they're living things and I don't want to kill living things. Just as a reminder, don't abuse your children to push messages on other people. And secondly, if these animals weren't farmed, they wouldn't be alive at all. You wouldn't see them in the first place. The other thing you'll notice about meat eaters is that we don't try and force you to eat this. We don't go, eat meat, eat meat, eat meat. We're just happy that you might choose to. So we're not trying to make universities 100% plant-based so that old students can go and suck on the old end of a locust while they're being taught absolute bollocks. We want you to be free to choose what you have to eat. And I will just say, if you want clues as to what you should be eating in order to look strong and healthy and fit, we do have these things. Admittedly, my teeth are British teeth and that shit. And true story, my dentist was actually the local vet. So mine aren't a great example, but you have incisors for a reason. They're not there, these white things for chomping down on a Brussels sprout. And finally, to young boys out there, just let me say that, you know, you can choose what you eat, but you really don't want to end up looking like the thing you're eating. You, you really don't want to end up with something that looks like this because take it from an old hag like me that's not going to fulfill anyone if you know what i'm saying nice try so thanks so much to british farmers thanks so much to butchers and everybody who works in ag here in the uk in south africa uh, the dutch uh, to all farmers working the land so that we can eat a big thank you from us normies out here in the rest of the world just say it right katie hopkins i find you very patronizing i find you very unintelligent and uh, I find you very sarcastic, okay? I've always followed you all these years. I think you respect, mate, respect due to you, yeah? Because you all speak what's on your mind, yeah? You know, you go on about people who's overweight and that is no excuse for it. Well, people are cruel to people who are cruel to animals, yeah? There's no excuse for that either. And people who are willingly, willfully indoctrinated and mind controlled by certain money making industries, there's no excuse for that either, Katie, right? So let me just lay a few things down for you, right? Right, you was on about basically vegans, yeah, he's being sarcastic in the video saying vegans, yeah, abusing their children because they put them online, uh, crying and that, and saying, I don't know, I don't want to eat cows, mommy, because they're uh, living animals. Um, and things like that. Well, I'd say that those children are pretty much mentally evolved because, you know, if you was to suppose, if you was to go uh, online, because many videos available detailing and showing you what's happening to the animals, uh, then you would have a different story. But uh, you're not intelligent enough, in my opinion, to view such things, and uh, you'd rather keep your mind in a bubble, so to speak. So I'll just educate you, shall I? Right, firstly, most of the animals that you're eating, the vast majority of them, even here in the UK, right, come from factory farms, okay, where they're denied sunlight, they're denied fresh air, they're denied all the basic things in life, okay. They're killed at a very early age, um, and uh, in most cases when they're shipped off to the slaughterhouse, I've seen all the footage myself, it's not random, you know, rare occasions, there's hundreds of thousands of videos in every country of animals, you know, basically uh, suffering such immense torment uh, that uh, it's literally hell on earth, okay, and it's all for your passing taste, you know. I think that uh, you, you're not evolved mentally enough to uh, be able to digest the information that I'm going to tell you. Right, but here goes, the uh, majority of the animals that uh, you're eating haven't even lived a, um, a quarter of their lifespan. 
that they would have unless if they were if they weren't murdered okay there's a lot of um, things put in out there indoctrination through the media uh, which you should be aware of by now um, saying uh, if you go to say for instance if you go and interview a random person on the street and you say where do you get your meat where do you get your protein from where do you have to get your calcium from all right most of them will say oh you get your calcium from your milk uh, and you get your protein from your meat um, when in reality say if you had a hundred grams of steak and a hundred grams of peanuts there'd be uh, more protein in a hundred grams of peanuts than there is in the steak so that's a lie uncovered straight away okay <clears throat> many of your green leafy veggies are high in protein your calcium also uh, calcium tomatoes are very high in calcium um, you know but uh, either way right uh, you're not willing to even look at the footage uh, I've looked at endless footage uh, just to make sure I was making the right decision and uh, it was about 13 years ago I watched a speech by Gary Robsky he was uh, actually giving a speech it's on YouTube probably still it's called the best speech you'll ever hear and he was giving it to some college students and uh, literally mate uh, you know when you're an intelligent person and you get uh, shown something and uh, immediately it rings true with you you know and your moral code kicks into uh, into play uh, so literally overnight i turned vegan and um, 13 years on mate yeah strong as an ox mate i just don't get ill i don't get ill uh, last time i had a cough was when i used to smoke weed about seven years ago uh, um, the last time i had a cold really was probably about 11 to 12 years ago uh, when I turned vegan, my eyesight cleared up. Uh, I found I was more able to sleep uh, better. Um, my moods were better. Um, I had more energy. Um, everything went better for me. Uh, my partner turned vegan the same time as me uh, because she's a very moralistic person. She won't cause anyone harm or any living being harm unless, you know, there was no other choice really. Um, she's a very beautiful soul and I'm very proud of her. Um, uh, the night that I turned vegan, it was the night before her birthday and uh, the, the speech that I watched made me actually numb. I went to bed uh, and I was numb, you know. I'd realised all the lies the meat and dairy industry teaches you and um, basically, you know, they like uh, your amino acids, they say that basically it's all in the media now because they all support each other but uh, I get all my amino acids, uh, peanut butter is very high in amino acid but uh, all of the uh, fruits and veggies that we're consuming, uh, each one has all of the amino acids that are necessary and that you need, in fact they couldn't grow without containing all the amino acids uh, that you need um, you know all of the uh, meat that you're eating and um, the nutrients you're getting out of it is secondary nutrients it's all been um, processed and recycled by the animal after they've eaten natural grains from the earth you know you've been indoctrinated to believe oh cats and dogs are really lovely and gerbils and guinea pigs and rabbits but um, you know pigs and chickens and uh, sheep and cows they're just here to uh, to die for you basically I find you very um, heartless to be honest uh, you are right what you say about uh, everyone has a free choice and it is your free choice to stay indoctrinated uh, and I respect that uh, it is your free choice to cause unnecessary harm um, you know to uh, animals uh, that are innocent and still very young um, it is it is your right to do so uh, but that proves to me you're you've got less morals and less intellect than me uh, you're almost like a non-player character you know like how uh, every movie uh, needs extras but they've only got a limited amount of things that they can think and say um, you're kind of kind of like that in my opinion you know um, so all I'd like to say to you is that um, I, was, I felt very disrespected by your interview, uh, well, your uh, self-interview, by your uh, short that you put up, uh, basically disrespecting being sarcastic towards veganism, um, when in reality, um, I feel, compared to most superhuman, when it's uh, pissing down of rain, and uh, I see much bigger guys than me, you know, they're really rugged, they go to gym all the time, I don't need to go to gym, I, I'm super strong compared to most, yeah. They, these people run to shelter in bus stops and under trees, you know, and they're wearing leather jackets, I'm bare topped, you know, and I'm strolling past them thinking, what's the matter with them like, you know, and they're all dithering under the uh, under the shelter, going, you're right, bro, oh, terrible, innit? Well, listen, let me tell you something, I feel superhuman compared to most, okay? 
na uli bas hodi lokud bas you know who it is na uli bas hodi lokud bas you know i feel superhuman and rightly so because i have strength way more than guys big and not bigger than me Right, I've got a friend who goes to gym and he's all pumped up, takes protein shakes and all that, yeah. And uh, basically, uh, I, uh, I said to him, do you want some logs for your garden? And he was like, mm, I don't know. I said, well, I'm getting some for my garden anyway, because I was building veg boxes out of them, you know, natural way, like. And uh, <clears throat> we went to get some logs and uh, basically 45 minutes later, long story short, he was exhausted. He, uh, he had to go to bed and... Uh, he went home, went straight to bed, and I couldn't get hold of him till the majority of the next day when he just woke up. Uh, but uh, I was raring to go. I could have carried probably about a thousand logs, mate. You know, a thousand logs, mate. There's no problem, mate. Yeah, my immune system's awesome, right? I tell you what I eat. People say, right, well, what do you eat as a vegan, right? I'll tell you what I eat, right? You can eat. Uh, you can eat all the t meaty tasting things, yeah, that you want to eat, right, yeah, and they taste exactly the same as meat, if not better, right, there's awesome meat-free alternatives now, right, some people have tried meat and alternatives and dairy alternatives, and the meat alternatives have tasted like cardboard, but th times have changed, when I turned vegan 13 years ago, there was very, very little stuff available to cater for someone who didn't want to uh, take part in the meat and dairy industry. Right, uh, I was living on pot noodles myself personally for a good while, and uh, but basically things have changed. Before I, you know, the whole idea of veganism encompassed my mind. I was living very minimalistically. Now I fill a big, largest trolley at the supermarket, and it's piled high. That's once a week, mate. I go through food like most people do. Oxygen, right? Uh, and uh, like you can see, I'm not, I'm not no big fat boy. Um, I eat mushrooms. I eat uh, spinach. I eat uh, broccoli, cauliflower, kale, uh, cucumber, tomato, um, celeriac, uh, beetroot. Uh, I eat everything, mate. I eat everything, right? Uh, all the fruits, all the veggies um, you, that you can possibly imagine. Grapes, kiwis, uh, bananas, strawberries, blueberries, blackcurrants, blackberries, apples, oranges, pineapples, you name it, mate. Yeah, I eat all the healthy stuff, right? Uh, my shits don't stink anymore. When I used to eat meat, my shits used to stink, mate. Yeah. Now, when when I go uh, for a, a shit, yeah, my shit don't stink. I don't stink up the house, mate. That's because I haven't got rotting flesh going through my bowels. Okay. So if you want to, uh, you know, get me back, you know, with a video of you having a barbecue, just know that basically it's not getting me back. It's proving that you've got low intelligence, and it's proving that you're gonna have a real stinky shit later on in that day. Okay, I don't approve of your sarcasm. I don't approve of your lack of knowledge trying to impose, you know, ideals off the uh, meat and dairy industry upon people. Um, and they're just they're, they're just non-player characters. They'll pass it off as fact. Okay, so you always go around like your head and shoulders above the rest, quick to you know pull up all the fakes. Well, let me tell you something now, right? I do respect you, Bab, yeah, always have done, but I think after watching that last video that was well below the belt and well unintelligent, that you are a non-player character. I believe that uh, there's no way you could educate yourself. You're simply not able to do so. If you were to research what I've researched, then I think you'd be able to open your eyes and uh, basically try and be able to think for yourself. But you know most people, if you don't see it on the news, then it ain't true. Alright, the mainstream news, then it ain't true. So, uh, this has been a little episode of Hoardy Hustle Knowledge. This is going to be the first on a new playlist. Thanks for that. Uh, Katie Hopkins, if you would like to interview me, then that would be great. Uh, but I think you're too much of a hypocrite. And uh, I think you, you know pretty much nothing, really. I think you're clutching at straws with the video you put up. And your intelligence is way 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 smaller than mine so uh, thanks for taking the time to probably chicken shit out of watching this video and uh, respect all you thanks for watching everyone just remember i don't judge you for eating meat and dairy um, if that's what you want to do that's totally up to you but just you know if you think you're a carnivore yeah or an omnivore catch a squirrel without a net catch a squirrel without 
um, a human-made weapon, just like a carnivore or omnivore would do, and uh, chase it down with your predatory stealth, and uh, catch it with your predatory stealth, no help, um, and uh, basically jump on it and rip it open immediately with your blunted teeth that dictate you're an omnivore, uh, 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 herbivore, um, and basically rip its head open and uh, eat its brains, its eyes, and uh, you know its, its intestines and things like that, like uh, like an omnivore would or a carnivore. Um, otherwise, you're just being fake, and uh, you're an animal abuser, and you're indoctrinated, and you're a non-player character. That goes out to Katie Hopkins. That's not to any of my viewers, because I love you all, and you haven't demonstrated no sarcasm towards me, and each to their own choice. But I've just highlighted the issue that uh, most majority of people now are very indoctrinated, and it's good to think for yourself. Goodbye. See you soon.